Rock Region Metro wants your help on deciding the future of the public transit network. Yeah, you know, they say the outcome will be a ridership focused network design. THP 11's Vanessa Page joining us live from one of the public meetings at the Lehman Library. And how does this all work? Don and Craig, this is all very interactive. At this particular booth, you're given $10 of play money, and each one represents your opinion about where you want to see funding go. It's all about using tax dollars wisely. So now's the chance that if you have an idea about transit and you have um, strong opinions about it, we really want to hear from you now. Rock Region Metro is kicking off a six-month project called RIDE 2020. RIDE stands for Route Innovation, Development, and Evaluation. This is all an interactive display to get more information out of our riders and, and just non-riders too. The project is being overseen by the San Diego-based transit planning firm Transportation Management and Design, Inc. It's very important to Jeannie Burris, the mother of a college student. I am a single mom and um, it's my daughter and myself and we have one car. Her daughter relies on the Rock Region Metro Transit Network to get to school and work when she can. It didn't go far enough out west and so sometimes she had to get Uber rides. With her college ID she's able to ride the Rock Region Metro free which is a huge help. An average Uber ride was anywhere from six to eight dollars. She says that easily adds up to nearly forty dollars a week. At the meetings, people can write what they like and dislike about the service and even mark where route should go. For people that work out further west or they want to shop out west. They're reimagining the transit network in central Arkansas for the first time in 33 years. What we want to do is make sure that we are using taxpayer dollars as efficiently as possible. She says public transit is something everyone should weigh in on because you never know when you'll need it. In May, the team will share plan recommendations based on information they've gathered. Our generations are getting older and people are wanting to try to stay in their homes and whatnot. They really need to take a look at, do they have a transit network near their home? Can they get around easily if they lose their mobility? If you didn't get to participate today, there will be two meetings tomorrow at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. And we have all that information for you over at THV11.com. Reporting live in North Little Rock, I'm Vanessa Page, THV11 News.